there was a, an article in Time magazine online, always online. Um, it's actually been a couple of weeks now. Oh, it didn't print out the date on this when I printed it. Um, but it's been a couple of weeks now. Um, but I'm just getting around to being able to do this video. Um, just my exhaustion levels were up to here. And just sitting, even just sitting down has been exhausting. Um, but the title was, Cancer Will Kill About 10 Million People This Year. Um, so the experts predict. Um, but according to new estimates from the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer, quite a mouthful, nearly 10 million people around the world will die of cancer this year, 2018. So um, the report was published, it says published Wednesday. I'm, I'm thinking that was a couple of weeks ago, Wednesday, <laughs> in a cancer journal for, clini for clinicians and it was based on data from 185 countries around the world. And they estimated that there will be 18.1 million new diagnoses of cancer, diagnoses of cancer, and 9.6 million cancer deaths, all in 2018. Which is from six years ago, that's an increase from 14.1 million diagnoses, so that's 4 million more diagnoses, and 8.2 million deaths, so 1.4 million increase in deaths due to cancer. That is just, in this day and age, that is just so crazy to me. The leading cancer um, for both prognosis or for both diagnosis and deaths um, is lung cancer which I guess smoking you know between smoking and mining and things like that um, air quality in a lot of countries probably ours included <laughs> um, yeah 2.1 million for diagnoses and 1.8 million in deaths for lung cancer. Crazy. Um, lung cancer is more prevalent in men than women. Um, but there is a rise in female patients. Um, And then after lung cancer, the most common cancers were breast, colorectal, prostate, and stomach. Breast cancer alone is expected to account for roughly 2.1 million diagnoses in 2018. Though effective treatments, at least in developed nations, means it will result in a comparatively modest 627,000 deaths. Seems like that should be the total overall. I mean, even, you know, in this day and age, it's just outrageous. You'd think even that, I don't know. I'm just so floored by this, you know. Nearly half of new cancer diagnoses and more than half of deaths are likely to occur in Asia, which is home to about 60% of the world's population. But meanwhile, Africa accounts for only 5.8% of global cancer cases, but 7.3% of deaths, in part because of poor prognosis. Wait, in part because poor prognosis diseases are common, and in part because access to care is lacking in many areas. Incidence of cancers associated with lifestyle factors, such as diet, um, are growing. And incidence of some cancers related to poverty and disease are diminishing. Now that's something. Um, cervical cancer, which is caused by human papillo, I cannot say this, papillomem, 
papillomavirus is on the decline. Okay, that's good. And that's probably based a lot on the awareness factor for the last few years that, you know, there have been PSAs on it and everything. A lot of drug campaigns. Um, no way to definitively prevent cancer, but up to 40% of new cancer cases could potentially be avoided by minimizing exposure to environmental and behavior risk factors such as smoking, cigarettes, and drinking alcohol. Now we go back to the alcohol thing again. But that just blows my mind. 18.1 million new cases of cancer each year, or this year. It could be even higher next year. Um, yeah, and 9.6 million deaths from cancer in this day and age. We're like in the medical, technological, you know, I don't know. Um, I guess it still amazes me that despite all of the medical technology that we've had in the last hundred years, cancer is still this big unknown um, and it's the same with Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is way, be, way so far behind on technology and science and, you know, they haven't figured anything out about it. You know, I mean, they've gotten a few little bits and pieces, but, you know, to think that there's nothing that can help prevent or, you know, that we don't have any new way of doing anything, you know, it's still, you go through chemotherapy and radiation and, you know, it's like massive invasive surgery, you know, why can't they just use a laser? It, it's like, why haven't these things been developed yet? And I'm sure that they've been working on something like that, but, you know, it seems like that we are past the time when that should have been developed. So it's really discouraging. And, you know, I hope for the people coming up within the next few years that they do come up with some major breakthrough that, I, you know, and I have to wonder how big of a part the FDA plays in this because we are so behind other countries when it comes to drug protocol and you know it, it takes us so long to get drugs and medical devices out to the public where other countries can get them out so much faster and they do so much better for the people you know during that time period that you know we're here in the United States waiting for something and people are dying and getting sick and you know in the UK they've got this wonder pill that's doing great things so I mean not necessarily with cancer but just kind of drugs overall you know other countries seem to get through the process faster than the United States and it seems like oh I won't even go into my tirade about the US and its laws and <laughs> Um, so, um, this was in Time Health Online. Um, the author was Jamie Ducharme. Ducharme? Not sure. But, um, again, I didn't put a date on it, but I think I pulled this up about two weeks ago. And so, um, the title is Cancer Will Kill About 10 Million People This Year. So if I can find the link to it, I will put it down below. I think I did email it to myself, so um, I'm hoping I did. And I will put that in the description down below. And just pray for all these people. And 
pray that science and medicine can do something about it within the next couple of years. And on that, I will say aloha. Mm-hmm.